Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're due for a random run this time. You know, okay, I, I'm not trying to say that I don't want to play as Samson, but we played as Samson on our last random run. So it's just random and, you know, turnabout is fair play. We're not doing Isaac or Samson. It's random, excepting the characters we've recently played as, because seriously, I, I've played as Samson so much lately, I'm getting a, you know, a new fondness for him, only because we're triumphing over adversity. They're, okay, we'll play as Blue Baby, you know? Again, turnabout is fair fucking play, so, well, at least we got a better, well, arguably better, at least. I know that poop can, uh, you know, probably adds up to like eight or nine cents over the course of a run, but um, I, I think Crack the Sky is going to be a little bit better for us. Yeah, at least we got a little bit of an upgrade there, but Blue Baby's not an easy one, you know? Why can't we just have a, a cane run anytime, you know? Or more often, I guess I should say. Um, we've been having some good, good luck and decent play in Isaac, and that is combined. Uh, to make a, a pretty darn good streak, if I do say so myself. Now, this is, uh, you know, the same EXE, like the same instance of Isaac running that I had uh, in the last episode. So it is possible we can get some, you know, nifty stuff with deals with the Angel, for example. I want to get these guys over here, because, like, a second secret room could actually be very, very uh, meaningful for me. A meaningful improvement in my life. Come on, dude. There we go. Okay, now. There, okay, I didn't really nudge that in the way that I would have liked. That's okay, I tried. I influenced it. And then I did exactly the same thing with the other one. My, my bad. I tried, though, sincerely. Alright, uh, that was awesome. I'm psyched to have gotten a cube of meat, a little extra defense, but mostly I'm psyched for this tinted rock here. And we get one spirit heart back, and you know what? I'm gonna be a little ballsy, and you don't always want to do this as Blue Baby, but... You know, Blue Baby's got some, some really good stuff going on. If... If... I can just get some good items. You know, we're gonna sacrifice one spirit heart to, to try this out. We got pills. Um, if we get any good, like any upgrade out of these, I would consider okay. But obviously, balls of steel or you know a tears upgrade would be the best. Bad gas and range down. Pretty stoked about that. Um, you know what? Let's go to our secret room. We, we I want to maximize our chances of going to the secret room because something like the Ankh is uh, incredibly meaningful. But instead, we actually got enough money to go to the shop, and we have the bomb necessary to. To use it, so uh, shops might end up becoming super viable for me here. And oh shit! Okay, never let anybody tell you that I didn't work for that. By the way, but we have one cube of meat and we have a book of revelations already. That is a huge help for us as Blue Baby. I fucking scrimped and saved and made that floor work, uh, and it just made it work by the the hairs on my chinny chin chin. And uh, we we we're here. We're good. Uh, so now there are no other books as Blue Baby that I really. I mean that. Eternal Heart is not amazing as Blue Baby, but anyway, there's no books that I super desire more than Book of Revelations. If we end up getting a staggering amount of Spirit Hearts, you know, Relic, Mitre, and Mom's Pearl or something like that, I might unlock that library and try to get, uh, Book Belial, I guess, is the only one, but, you know, the, the odds of that happening on this floor are not very likely. So I would say that library is probably going to be sort of ruled out in favor of Book of, uh, Revelations, or using that key for something else, I guess, even, but, uh, yeah, that is, that's a huge get for us. I was thinking like, oh, maybe we can get like Mom's Purse or something like that, or maybe we can get Blue Candle, but, uh, that was really dumb. Truth be told, the, uh, Book of Revelations is, is just amazing for us, so... I'm gonna try something a little different here. I'm gonna... Please just die. I don't really want you to be next to me when it happens, because that's how I got hit last time. I guess that's how you do damage in general, isn't it? There we go, we got a key. Nice. We'll check out our shop, I guess. Uh, but I'm gonna try to earn another Spirit Heart before we go into, uh, the boss room. Because I want to... Uh, have enough... Spirit Hearts to take a three heart deal with the Devil and still be alive. So hopefully, I, I mean, I could probably do that with the Eternal Heart. But then I'm, I risk, you know, turning a half of a, an Eternal Heart into just half of an Eternal Heart and not actually getting the full Spirit Heart out of it, which is a little bit suboptimal. It's not really a huge problem. That's more along the lines of what I was looking for right there, is the uh, ability to buy another Spirit Heart and defend myself, and then maybe have the possibility to use a Spirit Heart, like, immediately after picking up nine lives or something like that. Because, you know, becoming Guppy is a, it's a passion of mine. Now, we have, uh, we're not gonna get another, um, just checking for Secret Room. We're not gonna get another Spirit Heart from Book of Revelations yet. And we do get the one up, which I'm psyched mostly to have. I'm gonna save my keys, not even open up the library, because again, it would have to be incredible for us to actually desire it. Um, 
We still got some work to do left on this floor. We still got some interesting stuff ahead of us. I'm stoked to have Book of Revelations, and it should guarantee me a fight against Pestilence on the next floor, because I'm not going to use it on this floor, so I should, you know, the Book of Revelations, let's put it this way, sometimes has some weird interactions that I don't fully understand. Sometimes, I, I've heard people say that if you use Book of Revelations twice, or an even number of times, then it makes it less likely you're going to actually fight a Horseman of the Apocalypse, and if you do it an odd number of times, you're guaranteed. I don't know if any of that's true, or if it's just sometimes you get bad dice rolls and you don't get the intended effect. Um, but in any case, uh, we're going to have an odd number, so that's good. I don't really like HP upgrades as Blue Baby, but we'll take it. And there's our second floor deal with the Angel for the Scapular, which may actually effectively be worthless as Blue Baby. What else do we have? Well, I should have gone to our item room. Can't believe... Oh, yeah. I definitely should have gone to our item room earlier, even. And we'll go to our curse room, uh, just to see if maybe we can snag a, a deal with the devil item or something in there. Or more spirit hearts, or, you know, just bombs as well. And we won't forget to pick up that eternal heart as well. So, so far, I really, really can't complain about this run. We've had a lot of very good stuff happen to us, and it's, it's an interesting one. There's only... there's two locations for a second secret room, and I'm not gonna even try for them. And maybe there's more than two, but not many more than two. I'm not going to try for them, and the reason I'm not going to try for them is, what do I want? B room full of red hearts won't help me. Uh, don't really want a fortune teller or a slot machine. Red chest could be good, but it's unlikely. And an eternal heart would not benefit me at all, because I was going to get the benefit out of that one eternal heart anyway. The same benefit. So, um, I don't think we'd really gain anything from that. Alright, so there's Book of Revelations used. Uh, and you, uh, you may disagree. I mean, there is a chance that we could open up a red chest and just find a, a fuck ton of secret rooms or something, but... Or not secret rooms, spirit hearts, but it's unlikely. Less likely. Now, some bad damage, I'll admit. We also got the 1-up on that floor, which is nice. Portable slot, obviously, you know, terrible. We'll play until we get down to 7 cents, just in case. Yeah, that's mostly what I was looking for was a key. Because we could make the shop worthwhile on this floor, and the shop, exceptionally valuable as I uh, already have Book of Revelations. We're looking for things primarily 9-volt, Nun's Habit, um, Battery. I'm not going to be too picky because I can't reroll. Um, anything that kind of, you know, goes along with those items, augments our Book of Revelations, gives us more Spirit Hearts, is going to help out a great deal. I'm kind of hoping that deals with the Angel aren't a set precedent. I'm hoping that we can maybe earn more deals with the Devil, because I really want damage at this point. Our HP is, for the moment, fine. Um, but I would love to be able to snag some deals with the devil and pick up some some damage items or the ability to fly You know anything along those lines would help out a great deal right now But first things first we're gonna fight our boss see what we got should be yep pestilence So uh, I'm more than happy with that get a little bit of extra DPS should probably try to finagle my way out of here. Yeah, otherwise. Oh, that was did I drop that bomb there That was totally my bad. I, I did a panic, you know e hit or panic <laughs> panic e hit Kinda sounds like the most likely uh, story there might be a drug reference, but uh, no, it was just I hit the E key by accident. Careful, careful. Um, again, this is why I would like our damage to be higher. It's not bad, you know. Quad shot helps out, but it does suck that. Um, you know, it doesn't suck, but you know, because the deal with the angel could actually be awesome for us if it gives us, like, uh, Relic or Miter. Like, there's many, many good defensive Blue Baby-oriented Deal with the Angel items, but uh, I would welcome some Deal with the Devil items as well. But we didn't get either, so no hard feelings, I guess. Let's do some exploration. We still maybe want to go to the shop on this floor. What was in our item room? Item room is portable slot. Not very good at all. Gotta try to make this shop work, though. So we need some more bombs in order to make that happen, unfortunately. If I hadn't used that panic bomb, could be looking for the secret room already, but, you know, let's let bygones be bygones. And, of course, you know, the most important thing is Blue Baby. It's just, if you live long enough to get to, uh, to get to, uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility, that is something that will give you the best chance possible of success. So, we're not, we're about halfway there. We don't have any bombs. Uh, we will go to the curse room just in case it allows us to find the secret room. And then we'd go to the shop if there's enough money. Well, shit. Okay, that's one spirit heart down the drain. Uh, I guess we're leaving. I have to try to go to the shop. Just in case there's a seven cent nun's habit or something like that. I can't get that idea out of my brain right now. There's a seven cent bottle of pills or coin purse. I think I, that's worth taking. Rather than just buying the Spirit Heart, this allows us to get some more information. And there were two of these that were available for five cents. Two speed upgrades. I will take both. 
Again, a little bit of future proofing. And a bad trip. And range down. So we got two speed upgrades. Um, not a very good coin purse, but... Uh, well, two speed upgrades and a spirit heart down. So, yeah, not a very good coin purse at all, but that's okay. The speed upgrades will be very beneficial if we end up coming across lard or something. SMB superfan, small rock, etc, etc. So I'm not too salty about it. And we are still on the cave, so life's good. Now, some, uh... Some boss trap rooms. Let's start making Blue Baby, you know, playing to Blue Baby's strengths. Boss trap rooms are, are very much one of Blue Baby's strengths, the ability to always go to them. Poison Touch is another one. Um, because we always have permanent Polaroid invincibility, items like Poison Touch become, well, after we get the Polaroid, at least we always have it. Um, items like Poison Touch become exceptionally valuable. So, we'll just stand as far back as we possibly can here. Um, yeah, the uh, Poison Touch is a good pickup. You know, the. It's a little bit better later in the game, but I'm happy to have it, because we're probably not going to take damage on this room anyway. Uh, I'm happy to have it and uh, use it for later. can't believe the catacombs have uh, turrets, and the caves have this bullshit, like, super floaty heads that are impossible to fucking hit. because Or impossible to not get hit by, I guess I should say. You know what? I'm going to go to the cursed room right away. It's terrible. It's obvious. Well, it might allow us to get out of this room without getting hit, but I don't think so. At the very least, I'm still happy about that, because, I mean, I could be happier. Let's not, you know, put too kind of a face on it, but, yeah, I, I'm happy with it because it takes a shitty, uh, Bible, or not, not the shitty Bible, the Bible is pretty bad in the game, um, but uh, it takes a shitty item out of the deal with the angel pool, which means that we have a better chance of getting good items in the future, just because all the bad items are slowly being taken away. Like, scapular might give us no benefit as well, but... Uh, it's, it's gone now. We can't pick up two scapulars. Don't get any ideas, Edmund. Um, so, that's good. We took some damage. We're lucky that we have a one-up. We have a little bit more tolerance for failure than your average run. And it's not like we're going to be fighting Pestilence again on this floor, so... Um, we can spam Book of Revelations as much as we want, and it's not a problem. We know where the secret room isn't, as a result of going to that curse room. And I'm relatively pleased with this. You know, we haven't been given anything. Hasn't been, like, Quad Shot's pretty good, but we don't have any carry items or anything like that. Book of Revelations helps out a lot, too, but, um, maybe for a, a better player, this would be considered carrying, but, uh, for me, it's just a little bit better than your average blue, ah, maybe even a lot better than your average blue baby run. Like, I'm not in danger immediately at all, which is rare for, you know, this point in a blue baby run. Oftentimes, you know, blue baby runs are the, the very definition or the, the living example of when I say, you know, in Isaac, you just gotta live long enough to actually get something. Blue Baby is like the, the example there of like, it's hard as fuck to live long enough to get something good. I'm trying to get this Tinted Rock, um, without having to use a bomb myself, and it totally worked. But then I put myself in between a bomb and a hard place, but we got out of it. That's great. Okay, so Free Spirit Heart feels nice. I can't believe, there we go. I couldn't believe that we didn't have anything explode there. We get Stigma, or sorry, Blood of the Martyr. Always get them confused. And that's a damage upgrade. It's a special, so I should have waited until the end of the floor, but, uh, you know. Pick your battles. That's not one that I'm gonna be paying too much attention to anytime soon. Okay, Caves Part 2. It's Chubb, uh, you know, we don't have any bombs, so you could probably make an argument that High Priestess is worth using here, but with Quad Shot and now, uh, Blood of the Martyr, our damage is pretty solid, uh, he's pretty slow, which is normally the way that you get hit by Chubb. Next time he spawns a nub, oh, I killed it, but I was gonna say next time he spawns a nub, I'm gonna try not to kill it, because it's more likely to hit Chubb than it is to hit me, given that I'm faster. Now, lots of HP would welcome Deal with the Devil or Angel at this point. There's Angel, and Crate, one of the best blue baby items. I really, really do not like Cursed Skull. I'm not gonna take that speed upgrade, we're already fast enough. Um... And there we go, Holy Grail. So now we can fly, and we got some extra HP. So, you know, we have Emperor and we have High Priestess. They're both good. Emperor's better, though, I think. And I'm not gonna look for the secret room on that floor. Good, good, good. This is, uh, it's all starting to work out. The ability to fly is a huge benefit, uh, for Necropolis. For these rooms where you end up fighting, uh, Masks of Infamy. Now you can probably start to, you know, get the carry, uh, symbols out there. The carry emoticons. I don't know if there is a carry emoticon. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna open it. So, we're gonna use the Sun card right away, because we're gonna take the Emperor card with us. For most characters, the Sun is uh, a more valuable card than the Emperor, but for Blue Baby, 
I disagree. I think the Emperor card is a lot better uh, because we can't get the full health benefit. And this allows us to find the secret room easily. We know that there won't be a, a mini boss in the shop because there's a mini boss over here. So maybe we can actually swing a, a good shop purchase here. We could have done it as like even without having the sun card, but now we know, and it'll be a lot easier for us to find the secret room as well. But first things first, we fight the boss because we're here. And it's Conquest, which is always frustrating. Because Conquest will give us the white pony instead of it. Well, that's not true. Sometimes Conquest gives us cube of meat. I don't know what triggers it. Remember to stand near the doors and you won't get hit by the Conquest bullets. That's like the most meaningful new strategy I've learned about the Binding of Isaac in, in months. Is that, uh, you know, beams of light from heaven avoidance strategy. Really makes Conquest a lot more reasonable. And Conquest is pretty much the only boss that could make me regret giving up my High Priestess card for an Emperor card. At this point of the game. On the chest, obviously. Well, on the chest, you'd still probably want an Emperor card. Oh, okay. Bad damage. Let's be honest here. I get hit by Conquest. That's one thing that I do. Um, you gotta budget Conquest into your average run. He's... He's... Sometimes I think that Conquest may actually be harder than, like, Blue Baby Isaac. Um, it, it depends, though. It depends on your run, obviously. Like, those purple shots that come out so quickly are just so fucking annoying. I guess with flying, we, we can dodge the shots anyway just by going on top of rocks, but... Hey, we did it. And we gotta deal with the devil, which we can actually take, weirdly enough. So there goes our orbital, but... Third level cube of meat, I prefer it. Shit, dude. Like, is nine lives actually better in this situation? I think it might be. We'll lose a lot of spirit hearts taking it, but... It ups our lives so much that I, I kind of like it, and that means we can steal. Oh, we can't. So we. Sh eh, it doesn't really. It didn't really matter what we took first, I guess. So nine lives was. A, I mean, it's a ballsy choice, right? Um, it could end up backfiring, but I almost feel like nine lives was actually the safer option, as weird as it may sound, uh, because we can get to six spirit hearts, not easily. Oh, Mr. Mega's so good. Uh, but we can get to six spirit hearts relatively quickly as a result of the fact that we have Book of Revelation. So I figured to just give us nine more cracks at it might be worthwhile. And who knows, maybe we end up having a, a run where we, we, we almost have victory. Like, we, we could conceivably beat Blue Baby slash Isaac on one spirit heart. Maybe we get Mom's Knife, Polyphemus, and get, like, super carried later. Um, I was really hoping I'd be able to steal... Uh, Guppy's tail and have a better chance to become Guppy to maybe make that happen, by the way. But anyway, um, I thought that there was like a siren sound outside, because there always is here, apparently, and uh, I thought it was coming from inside of my headphones, and I freaked the fuck out. But anyway, anyway, um, yeah, so it's possible that nine lives, even if it, if we do have to take the boss out with one spirit heart, it's possible that it could help out. Holy crap. Um, so, D6 we're not going to take, but we may use it. Uh, we may use it to reroll a bad shop item. I'm gonna try this. I think, considering we have Mr. Mega, I think I'm gonna pick up these 10 bombs. It's not super rare to find a D6 in your item room on a non-Isaac run. And if we'd gotten it a little... I mean, there's no way we could have gotten it earlier. I think Book of Revelations is still always gonna be the right play in that situation as Blue Baby, but... Um, yeah, it, it certainly it's, it's an interesting situation. If nothing else, if it gives me one reroll to use on the shop or something, if the shop item ends up being not an amazing item, uh, then the D6 is a great item to have found in our item room. If only I could reroll the D6 though, you know? So we're gonna work our way over to that shop. Um, let's check out our secret room as well. Obviously I want enough money in here to be able to go to the shop. That's like priority A number one, and that's gonna do it. We'll probably go to the curse room at some point, but uh, first things first, this is kind of a moment of truth. You know, nun's habit, nine volt, battery. These are, these are big uh, possibilities for us here. Lots of keys, that feels good. I really don't think, by the way, that I could have taken Guppy's tail and then killed myself for nine lives. I just, I think you don't, I didn't have the spirit hearts for it, so. I'm hoping we get enough spirit hearts to at least be able to qualify for that deal, even if it kills me, um, so I can have a better chance of becoming Guppy in the future. It's a very weird uh, kind of run, you know? The, the Guppy items, oh, so bad. Guppy items oftentimes force you to be outside of your comfort zone a little. Which, I would say, it's fair to say that's where we are right now. So yeah, um, we're gonna buy the Spirit Heart. And then we're gonna get the D6 and reroll the shit out of it. 
Was there a tinted rock in here? I don't know why. There was the fire that made it look like that. We're not going to get another reroll anyway, so I'm going to clear out the um, the other two rooms, and then we'll we'll sort it out. That Mr. Mega pickup is big, by the way. Uh, could be big, at least. And, you know, a lot of people prefer third level or second level Cuban meat to third level Cuban meat, but I'm, I'm happy with uh, I'm happy with what the game gives me. If it gives me second level Cuban meat, I can find something to be excited about. If it gives me third level Cuban meat, I can find something to be excited about. Okay, so we're already back to almost our pre-9 uh, lives HP. Now, of course, if we didn't take 9 lives, we would have, like, double this HP, but... Don't accidentally reroll Book of Revelations. That's the most important thing right now. We're gonna reroll the ladder. It's possible. <sighs> you know what? We are gonna go to the curse room. Just in case. We're only gonna lose half a spirit heart. Okay, my thinking was, what if it's Guppy's head? Then we maybe want to pick it up and reroll that for a the best chance possible of becoming Guppy. Anyway. I'm, I'm still content with that decision. The map is what it is, and I'm happy to have it for the future, but uh, it's it's certainly not the item that I was hoping that it would be. Interesting run so far. We're still, um, you know, we're getting squeezed a little bit, but we're not totally fucked by any stretch of the imagination. Anything, anything on the next floor that helps us augment Book of Revelations would be so fucking useful. So, uh... I could use bombs to look for the second secret room, but... I'm really not comfortable using too many. Okay, we didn't find it on the first try. I'll try one more down here, but I really want to stay around 20 bombs, because that's like a good level for those uh, those bosses. No, okay. That's fine. You know, I didn't expect to find it. There were a lot of possible um, openings where it could be. That's okay. And no, um, unfortunately, no... Uh, uh, second chance to get Guppy's tail there. So we're fine. Um... You know, I, I do think that last floor, it's its not an objective improvement, but it's an improvement. I'm not going to go to the secret room just yet, because uh, there is a chance that maybe we could uh, bomb our way into an item room. But I want to know before I waste a bomb. Because the bombs are still pretty meaningful to me right now. Alright, small rock is a huge get for us. That's why we picked up those speed upgrades earlier, just in case we ended up getting this. And we are a little slower now, but that's not going to make a huge difference. Might as well go to every single room that we possibly can. We know who we're fighting as a boss. It's gonna be Mom. Uh, we have a pretty good, you know, combination of uh, Mom killing items. It's no blue candle, but it's fine. Nun's Habit would help out so much, though. And we're not gonna be playing that uh, Flood Bank at all, because, of course, well, first off, we're Blue Baby. Secondly, we don't have permanent Polaroid invincibility yet. And thirdly, uh, the best case scenario is that we end up pretty much losing exactly the same amount of HP as we gain. So, we, we end up, you know, banking a speed upgrade out of it. whoop de fucking do Lifesteal is, is effectively worthless as Blue Baby. Which is actually sometimes better than if you got it as Isaac, but, um, you know, it, we're not gonna take it. And it shouldn't be able to show up again. Lover's also worthless as Blue Baby. But the, the blessing in disguise here is that we um, are definitely not going to encounter greed in our shop. So money, oh, that's a good amount. We need one more cent total, and then we'll be able to buy something from our shop. And we could always gamble on the blood bank to get one penny. If we have to. If we truly, truly have to. And I really don't want to, but it, there's a chance that it might end up being the smart money play, you know? Now... There's uh, more keys, always nice, more spirit hearts, feels good too. Gotta go to the curse room, because, you know, in the back of my mind, I've still got this chance to become Guppy. And that would be, obviously, a huge play for us. We might not go to it straight away, though. And uh, here's our shop, so we'll see what we got. We can't reroll anything, so I hope it's good. This may be the proper uh, attitude to have. Blue candle would be the worst, because I would actually have to question whether or not to pick it up. Why did I go to the library? Well, you know, actually, this is not the worst idea, because we can play the blood bank with this book of revelations. Bum friend, huh? Well, see you later. Bum friend pretty much sucks. Uh, we're also going to pick up Anarchist Cookbook quickly, just so, you know, it doesn't show up again. But at the very least, we can get some blood bank plays here. Maybe bank a spirit heart and some extra HP. Pretty disappointed with our... Uh, or we could Book of Shadows into the curse room, but... We're only losing half a spirit heart going into the curse room, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. So let's uh, Book of Shadows, and we'll get some more money. <laughs> well, we'll still get some more money. You know, we'll get a lot of it. Doesn't really help us out that much at this point in time, but... Okay, there we go. Uh, and all blood banks for the rest of the game will pay out, which is not really that worthwhile to me. 
And we're not going to use Bump Friend, because Bump Friend has a tendency to kick my shit far away, so I don't want to do it. Um, lose half a Spirit Heart on the way out here. Oh, never mind. We gained a Spirit Heart and a half just for coming to this room. Alright, well, no one can possibly say that I haven't at least tried to make things work on this floor. We do have the map. We have the Emperor. Uh... I think we have good chances of, of possible victory here, but I would love, you know, one or two more items to really take me over uh, over the next level. What's this card? High Priestess. Well, you know, it would be stupid to not at least use it. I, I will probably go back and play that. Um, we can use it. Oh, man, I hate this room. Don't see this one too often. Uh, yeah, we can use High Priestess uh, on the room prior to the boss room if it's warranted. Stupid of me. I should have done it next to the slot machine. Whatever. Uh, cool. We're gonna go back and pick up that Emperor card, of course. The moon takes us to the secret room. It's still pretty bad, uh, relative to the Emperor card. We've already been to the secret room on this floor. Judas Tongue. Uh, not worth taking, because we're gonna have to take the Polaroid anyway. Uh, you know what? We can actually, we can do something a little wild here. So let's take the moon and Judas Tongue. What is this one? Hero, oh, Hero Font, so good. And Burnt Penny could have been good to get more bombs. So we'll actually hold Burnt Penny for now, just in case we get more money here. Uh, wow, okay, Crystal Ball. It's a weird one, right? Oh my god, well, let's take Judas Tongue, because we can get a cheap deal with the devil here, maybe. I'm not sure if it actually works with um, with Blue Baby, but we'll try. So we're fighting Krampus, so it doesn't really matter. Sure, free lump of coal. That's nice. Uh, weird one. What's better, Crystal Ball or Book of Revelations? Book of Revelations, you know, as a result, you get that guaranteed Spirit Heart, whereas Crystal Ball is a little bit more fluid. But Crystal Ball also contains like Map and Compass, and sometimes if it doesn't give you the, uh, if it doesn't give you a Spirit Heart, it can give you a Tarot card that you actually desire, like the Devil card that you or the Joker card that you saw right there. So, um, I actually feel like that might be the proper choice. Now we don't need to use, or, yeah, I think I think that's what we'll do. We don't need to use what I was going to do earlier, which was um, I was going to pick up the moon card, teleport out of the boss fight, and then, um, you know, go to the secret room, come back in, maybe get a deal with the devil. Anyway, that's what's done is done there. I'm happy to have the crystal ball. We've got the emperor card. we got Judas Tongue. This is what we want for now. Regular version of Mom. No problems here, I would say. Crowd control should be easy. Not encountering particularly hearty, uh, you know, enemies. Um, and we're already about halfway done. So yeah, it's it's possible that Crystal Ball, you know, it, it's almost a wash, but I feel like Crystal Ball is, it, it gets taken over the edge, even if it gives us less Spirit Hearts and gives us a little bit more useless shit. I think it gets, it's better as a result of the, um, the map and compass functionality that it basically carries with it. So I'm, I'm content with that, very content with that. And down to the next floor. So we, uh, you know, carried maybe a little bit, but maybe also not because this is still not over. And we could we could botch this miserably. We do have poison touch, so um, every time we get hit, we're probably only going to get hit, hit once. Let's put it that way. Oh my fuck. Okay, can't be making those mistakes. And my thinking is actually maybe we don't use crystal ball on this floor. This is the other you know weird kind of you know game with crystal ball. You kind of want to save it for as early as possible on the next floor, if you can. But, you gotta strike a balance somewhere, right? We may end up using it on this floor, I'm not totally sure yet. Oh, okay, these guys are not super fast, you can get away with it. This one should kill, and this one should kill, okay. Let's check this room out. Crystal Ball's about to go, I think we'll have time to get another charge, or very, very nearly another charge before our um, next floor, so I don't mind using it. Just use Bob's Rod and Head to quickly check for maybe the second secret room, even though it's, I think, mathematically impossible for it to be there, using the secret room logic. Might as well do something with it, right? Give it a try. Could end up making all the difference. So yeah, we'll definitely do this. The Chariot, very happy to have it. Um, it's, uh, is it worth more than a Spirit Heart? Honestly, probably. We can probably get more than a Spirit Heart worth of protection out of it. We'll see, though. What do we have going on in here? Ah, you know, it's a red chest. I had to, I had to give it a try. And we could use the chariot card here. Whether I will or not um, remains to be seen. What do we end up fighting? Chad. Chubb, sorry. Um, we still have the emperor card, so I should use the chariot card on this floor. The only question is, do I want to use it now, or do I want to use it like against a boss? 
We're not going to be fighting Conquest, so the hardest boss we could fight would be like... Death? But a Chariot card against Death would help out. Yeah, I think I'll save it, because I've already gone through the... You know, the hard part. The Chub fight should be the hard part of this one. Double Monstro, not so bad. Especially considering our damage. Still kind of salty about that range downgrade now. Especially that we've got a Lump of Coal. We didn't get any range upgrades over the course of the run, I think, which is usually a good thing, but here, kind of annoying. Um, again, like any one of these rooms using a Chariot card could save me a Spirit Heart. So I actually am pretty pleased with the uh, with the payout from Crystal Ball there. Plenty of keys, Golden Chest would be nice. Now, this is uh, another room where I would love to use this Chariot card. Je people are like, Jesus Christ, shut up about the Chariot card already. You've seen it a thousand times. You don't need to act like it's the greatest item in the game. I'm just trying to make sure I'm using it at the appropriate time, you know? Well, we're going to go fight in here. It's uh, Daddy Long Legs. So we're going to use the Chariot card largely because we just had to, um, you know, we have to use it on this floor. This is probably going to be the best. Oh, man, that was a pretty sneaky tactic there. Squeezy is so good, though. Um, so we'll get our Emperor card. And you know, would we rather fight in a room on the Wound Part 1 or the Wound Part 2? I think we'd rather fight in a room on the Wound Part 1. And then use the Crystal Ball immediately and not go in the wrong direction on the next floor. That's my thinking at least. We'll come to this last room over here and what do we got? A couple of flies? Well, a few flies. I'm always guilty of using a couple as, you know, a, a nomer or a name for variants more than two. That's not correct, is it? Okay, okie dokie. Big floor. Almost used the Emperor card by accident. There we go. Okay, so we, ha we have a secret room, and we have a boss trap room. We have no curse room. We have a self-sacrifice room, though. Alright, seriously. I Meat Boy, is he's, his AI could use some work, right? Let's be honest here. I'm not going to be using that, uh, that blood bank. I know some people advocate for it, but I still think it's a really dumb decision, even with permanent Polaroid invincibility. The best thing that... The best thing that you're likely to get is either, you know, one Spirit Heart extra, maybe? Or not even, because it takes double the HP here. Um, I would love to have a Chariot card here, but um, I had to take the Emperor card with me. And we're not using the Emperor card right now. Uh, anyway, long story short, yeah, I think it's bad. All you stand to gain really is a speed upgrade, which we don't need as much as uh, we, we ever have. And there's no reason to go to that boss trap room. Pretty terrible um, item there, all things considered. We haven't been to our secret room yet, right? I, I chose to skip around it. So we will have a crystal ball, and we'll use that immediately. No, we won't. What we will do with the crystal ball, we'll fight Mom's heart, Emperor card on the cathedral, fight Isaac, and then use the crystal ball immediately on the chest. There's always that weird dynamic between, like, spending and saving the crystal ball charges, but considering the only thing guaranteed with the crystal ball is uh, map and compass ability, mapping the entire floor, I think it's best to, you know, use it accordingly. Alright, so Mom's Heart. I'm not gonna save bombs, because my damage is, is totally fine for for the Isaac and Blue Baby portions of the game, I think at least. And our bombs are gonna do a lot of damage, so we don't necessarily need to use too many. In a weird way, the more, the more valuable your bombs are, the more you should use them, because the less you're gonna have to use, right? It's like if you only have two bills in your wallet, you might not want to spend them if they're five bucks each, but if they're a hundred, you're only gonna need to spend one to get the job done, maybe, right? So... That's, that's my philosophy on things anyway. That's why if you see me on the street, you should always mug me because I carry around two $100 bills. Please don't do that, by the way. The internet is a weird place sometimes. Some people don't understand joking. Now, it's up to the next floor. Uh, this is sweet because it's a Curse of Darkness as well. So we'll just quickly check out this room just in case it's something good. Doesn't appear to be. We Emperor card. And we don't use the Crystal Ball unless we're about to die. Now, every time we get hit, this is the important part. We gotta run up, do some poison touch, you know, get Meat Boy on there doing what Meat Boy does. And mathematically speaking, we should just be able to do enough damage through that uh, in order to get the kill. So, everything else on top of that is just gravy. And my incentive for wanting to win this fight is I really don't want to fucking lose this fight nine times in a row immediately afterwards. Which is what's gonna happen because I have nine lives and one up. So, it's a bit of a wild place. The only time I could be convinced to use... Uh, crystal ball right now, instead of saving it for later, is uh, if I had none it. Then, of course, it would be stupid for me not to use it, because I would be wasting charges, whereas right now, I'd be wasting, like, full charges. Right now, we're wasting, like, third charges, which is not that big of a deal, in my opinion. Alright, let's put some uh, Mr. Mega Bombs down here. We have permanent Polaroid invincibility, in case you missed us getting hit. 
Well, I wouldn't say you've been missing it. Okay. Get some shots in there. Good. Good, good, good. Eight keys. Crystal ball. Wow, it's a long way. Halo of Flies is nice. Dead Bird is bad. Celtic Cross is actually irrelevant. Uh, we're definitely gonna... Oh, that was so bad. We're definitely gonna kill Gluttony uh, before killing Sloth. Because... that. Come on, me boy, work with me here. Uh, if we kill Gluttony, we, you know, we get the tarot card. Possibly. Or, we've already seen Bob's Rotten Head, so we should get the tarot card. And the tarot card is Wheel of Fortune, which is not amazing, but... Uh, two of Hearts is awful. But it, it's pretty good, considering... Oh, well, we can play this and then blow it up. So we can maybe earn a lot of Spirit Hearts here, or other useful cards. So this could end up being a very important room for us. And we need these Spirit Hearts, man. We need as many as possible. We're still probably in a pretty good position to win. And we've been carried a little bit, but... You know, could always use more. The Stars is uh, not a good card right now. Um... Just a little bit too risky. Maggie's Faith is terrible. Just Spirit Hearts, man. Keep it simple, stupid. All you gotta do is pay out with that. And then we'll blow it up at the end and we'll get an item. So even if we get nothing else, at least we'll, we'll get some chance to get an okay item from blowing this thing up. There we go. That means a lot to me. What else you got here? Work with me. Every Spirit Heart makes a difference. A second Polaroid. Not really that important. I can wait. 15 cents left, huh? I got all those luck up pills, or was that the last run? I can't remember because I've left spider mod open here, but... It's okay, there we go. You always want to see me gamble more to increase my chances of success. I think it's gonna work out here. Yeah, these spirit hearts are very, very nice. Not quite double HP yet, but we're getting there. It's still six rooms plus the boss left, so it's, it's a trip, but... Um, you know, life's a garden, dig it, that's what I always say. There we go. We can lose, like, one and a half spirit hearts per room. When you put it that way, it's actually somehow less comforting. We'll, we'll gain a spirit heart, probably, as a result of a crystal ball, though, so that's okay. And... Two more plays, then we'll blow it up. Truth be told, if we were playing, you know, min-max style, we would leave this up here, so if we got any more money, we could gamble it... We could gamble, uh... Back here. But, I'm just gonna explode it, because I don't want to be arsed, basically. Ghost Baby. Ghost Baby is passive, so I'll take it, but it's not very good. But it's extra damage. All right. Double Super Wrath. Um, never do what I did there. That was the dumbest dodge of all fucking time. Now, just stay away. <sighs> yeah, okay. I'm, I'm fast enough to get away from these bombs. I'm just dodging, like, super risky for no reason. Now, stay back. Stay back. Two more bombs. Feels good. Three more bombs, actually. We could use those. There's the money we could have used to gamble on that uh, Spirit Heart Factory. That's all it is to me, is a Spirit Heart Factory. This is an easy room. Probably should get out of here without taking damage. Good, 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 good. This is also, uh, I realize I took damage, but, you know, one Spirit Heart of damage, it's not so bad. This is a relatively easy room, all things considered, as well. There we go. Okie dokie. Now. Halo of Fly is going to be really nice for dodging bullets. It doesn't actually do any damage to the boss. But it does uh, keep us from taking damage, which is important. So we're actually not going to get a crystal ball charge before the boss, unless I want to. But I would rather just not go to an extra room. Because we're, you know, in all likelihood, we could pretty conceivably take damage against uh, one extra room. Just as much as the crystal ball would be likely to give us some extra health. And I don't think we need it either. I think we're going to be fine. With our, you know, Poison Touch and Permanent Polaroid Invincibility, yada yada. Let's do this. Okay. So, I'm pretty proud of this run. Even if we end up failing. We got lucky, you know, to get that early Book of Revelations. But, we had to work to get lucky. Like, that was not just given to us for free. We, we got super, super lucky. And, it's all because I had the, um... I had the sack to, to nut up and go into that curse room right off the bat, despite being low health. If not for that, we probably would have ended up losing this run. And, um, I would be a slightly unhappier, campier. And we're gonna win. Yeah. Turns out that, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be honest with you. Nine lives was a terrible pickup. <laughs> it 
But it was it was a bit of a safety pickup for me. I picked it up because I was like, I don't know what I'm going to look like later. Maybe this will help. But uh, yeah, we didn't need it. That's another victory. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.